Welcome to the farm. I'm not just talking about any old farm. I'm talking about the farm. After all, it's a living museum of rural America. The farm is a popular Door County attraction that offers fun farm-related activities mixed in with a great historical perspective of farming. Hello there. I would like to tour the farm. Sounds like a plan. Opened in 1966, the farm offers visitors 40 acres to explore. I grabbed a map of the property and walked through the gift shop to an area where I picked up some milk bottles and food to feed the animals. Off to the barnyard we go. We got a bit of an open barnyard concept here at the farm. So it's not uncommon to see lambs and sheep and cats and maybe even a little piglet now and again running around. Don't worry. They're friendly. Roosters too. The farm's a favorite spot for families, with kids finding all sorts of fun things to do, from holding kittens to feeding baby goats or pigs. What do you like the most about the farm here? Well, I like everything, but the kittens and the baby goats are really cute too. They even have a milking parlor where, on a set schedule, you can see for yourself what it's like to milk a goat. There we are, I got a nice purchase on that one. The real pros always make it look so easy. When was the last time you got a good solid look at some guinea fowl? They've got a variety of animals to see in their large pasture area, including cattle, sheep, bigger sheep, a donkey, and a lively group of hungry goats. Hey fellas, this stink. This could be you. Here we are in the little horse barn, looking at the little horses. Hi. Next, I met up with Elmer Tank, who manages the farm with his wife Shirley, to find out a little bit more about this fun place. There's more than just the animals here. There's the historical buildings, and besides, as the children get older, they keep coming back years after year, and all of a sudden, they're into the questions of what kind of piece of machinery this is and a historical part of it too, which is unique. One especially not to miss place here is the Ida M. Bay Nature Cabin, where they have an incubator with baby chicks hatching every day. The chicks dig me. Well, in addition to this great barnyard that you can walk around in and see all sorts of fun animals, they've also got some great trails here at the farm, and that's what we're going to next. Remember that whole open barnyard concept I was talking about? Well, they have some grates like this that are leading to the trails that help keep the animals that are roaming around safe inside. Look what we have here. We've come upon a fabulous farm pond. A variety of waterfowl inhabit the farm pond and areas surrounding it, making it a fun stop along the trail. I also found their nature trail to be a fun and scenic spot to spy some beautiful wildflowers. My next stop was at the historic Sugar Shack to check things out. Then I swung by the Bassford House. And lastly, I paid a visit to the Zettel Machine Shed. Looking here at a 1923 Model T Ford. Pretty sure it's not a hybrid. They even got a classic old time tractor here that you can climb up on. It's great for photo ops. I think this one's going in the scrapbook. Well, you guys got to check this place out. It's the farm. They're located along Highway 57, a couple miles north of Sturgeon Bay. There's so much to see and do here. The kids will absolutely love it. They're open daily from 9 to 5, and they're open from Memorial Day weekend all the way until mid-October. I hope you guys can get up here and check this place out the next time you're here in Door County. So until next time, we'll see ya!